Hello, my name is Mike Prown with Katif Technologies, and then in this video we're going to take a look at the practical visualization inside of the product design suites. We're going to take a look at Showcase and 3ds Max, see what the difference is between the two, and when to use each of the different programs. To start off with, we're going to take a look at Showcase, and uh, this is a 3D real-time rendering program. Start off by selecting a component and changing the color. We can see the different color possibilities by default. So these are all the standard colors that come with this program. We can see the Autodesk materials, which also is a shared library between both of the different programs. Now inside of here, it's as simple as selecting the objects and then selecting the colors that we'd like those objects to be. As you can also see, we have capabilities of selecting all the objects and making all of them the same color as well. Now, to be able to control this, we have something called alternatives. You can see here, this is a material alternative, which allows us to select different colors and then save those alternatives and flip back and forth. Same process is as simple as selecting the components, adding that to our alternative, and then we can flip between our different options. So you can see red, green, yellow. It really allows us to do different ideas. Now, that was a material lineup. Uh, we also have positional lineups, so in this case up and down. We also have model lineups, so we can see here with the outriggers or without the outriggers attached. It allows us to do different, you know, real-time, rotate the object around, um, different concepts and compare them, you know, really to feel out the value of what this is going to look like. We can see here that we can rotate this model. Again, like I said, it's a real 3D model that I can take and I can rotate it around. What we're actually doing is reusing the Inventor model here. But what really adds the next level to the Showcase tool is this 3D environment. So if I zoom out, we can take a look at this and then rotate it around. It actually uses an HDR image and uses the lighting from that image so you can see the sun in the sky where the shadows are projecting to. And that is what gives it the photorealistic look. So one big thing between Showcase and 3ds Max, Showcase has the real-time rotating uh, rendering capabilities. Again, different environment, we can see how the shadows change, the lighting changes based off the image, and as I rotate this around, it is a full 360 degrees. Another thing to note with Showcase is the different capabilities I have here of changing the materials. So there's a material properties, reflection, bump maps, transparency, um, this allows me to tweak the colors to give them a more exact look. Also, I have capability of, of putting lights in here, a spot uh, light or just a local light. And with our different views, we can actually create shots. Uh, we can do a start end, just a still shot, cinematic. You can see some of the different options we have here. I'll select a preview. It gives you a good idea of what these uh, shots can look like. Now, the nice thing about these shots is you can actually save those out as AVIs. Next thing we're going to take a look at here inside of Showcase is the side-by-side -side comparison. So imagine doing a design review with your customers or internally and wanting to say, well, okay, we have this object or this part, whatever we're manufacturing, and I'm kind of trying to decide maybe between the different colors. You notice as I rotate this around, both of the views are going to rotate. But the really nice thing about this tool is the capability to come in and go back to those alternatives we have. So I could do the white model versus a yellow model. Uh, we could put decals on here, compare different decals and concepts. Along with uh, different colors, again, we could compare the different models. So in this case, maybe um, I have the model on the right and you know, change it to a, a white model. What well, if I want to compare this to uh, without the outriggers? Again, just change those alternatives and I can now do a side-by-side -side comparison. So big advantage of Showcase, be able to do real-time side-by-side comparisons between different models and colors and alternatives. Next, we're going to jump into 3ds Max, and we can see here one thing right away is the capability of having different views. So there's actually four screens that I have here. Uh, the next thing is being able to actually create objects. So showcase, I can import objects, but in 3ds Max, I can actually create different objects inside of here. Notice I'm uh, just creating a simple sphere and box. Now, not only can I create these components, but I actually have the capabilities of coming in and making changes to them. Um, inside my model here, we can see we have shapes, lights, cameras. Uh, we also can create objects, modify them, group them together, add some motion in there, uh, change the display. So lots of different capabilities we actually have a little more advanced inside of Showcase. Um, 
can see here, I told you we can make the components, but we can also change the parameters. So I'm just going to change the length and the height. Now, that's a simple, you know, shapes, creating them. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do with these shapes is add colors. Now, you saw the colors inside of Showcase. 3ds Max, we have a little more control over these colors. Um, you can see here the material parameters, if I zoom in. Uh, I have diffuse, refraction, um, just a little more advanced. Now also we have the self-illumination, uh, special effects. So these are just tools that allow me to dial in a little bit more. You know, you can think of 3ds Max as a little more advanced rendering. And also we have the capabilities inside of 3ds Max of rendering animations. So showcase, real time, also the side-by-side -side comparison, very easy, simple to use. 3ds Max more advanced capabilities as far as materials, lights, colors, and also, as we see here, render animation. So I'm going to just change my view to a local and then actually tie these components together so that I can render this animation. First uh, step actually is to animate this. Now, in the animate in 3ds Max, like you see here, I'm just tying these components together. So I rotate one, the other ones are going to rotate with them. And actually it actually works out for fairly simple concept where I'm just going to select all these objects and at time zero they're all at this point as I make a, a note of that point and then I can come in and I'm just going to use my rotate tool with this roller coaster and rotate the components around. So basically you know the starting point and then at this time stamp the ending point is going to be wherever I, I rotate this to. Notice again when I come in I grab my different components since I link them together all my components are going to actually move together. Now Every time I go to my different time point here, I can just snap a picture on this, again, selecting all these objects and saying at this point, I want them to be here. Again, what I feel is a fairly simple com or concept to actually make a animation. So selecting our time point, rotating the components around, uh, so I could do this all day, it's kind of fun with this roller coaster here. Um, Obviously, somebody spun that much, they probably get a little sick, but again, a little fun. Um, just moving to my different points. Do one final one here. A little more rotation. Now, I'm just doing some rotations. You can also explode parts. Um, we can add effects. You know, movies like Avatar, Tron. This is the kind of tool that's used in those programs, also a lot of different commercials. So really the sky's the limit of what you can do here. I'm just kind of doing a fairly simple um, animation. Now, once this is done, I want to play that animation. And I know you're thinking, play the animation. Well, yes, I actually just stamped those time points. And now when I move my um, scroll here, it actually moves between those points and we can actually see this animation. Now I can actually take this and hit render and render this out. Notice it's not real-time rendered. I'd actually have to save it and render it. Now, along with the color capabilities, I mentioned the lights. One unique thing with 3ds Max is this daylight system. So it actually puts a sun in the sky. And we can see the hours, the minutes, the month. I can actually get and import a location to have the exact um, time. That way, if I do a time lapse, the sun's coming up, going down. I want to see all the, sh the shadows and sun reacts. It's very, very um, capable of doing all those different features. Also, with the camera, take a look. I have different lenses. I have um, environmental range. I have depth of field. I have target distance. I have uh, focal depth. I can actually do f-stop. So, again, just more advanced rendering inside of 3ds Max. Now the last thing is how do we tie them together? Well if I actually export this animation out as an FBX, that animation can be brought over into Showcase. So it's kind of tying the tool, two tools together. Now if we jump back into Showcase with that um, Brock data set here, I can actually play the animation that was created inside of 3ds Max. So just with Showcase I could not do an animation with it like this. However, if I create an animation inside of 3ds Max and then bring it into Showcase, we can actually play that and rotate it around. So it's kind of the best of both worlds where I'm able to rotate it around. Notice how the, the shadows actually move when the object's moving. So it's real time updating. Um, we're not waiting for it to render. Rotate it around. We can see the light, shadows. I put different environments. It all just updates automatically. To summarize, Showcase is a real-time rendering program that allows us to change alternatives with different colors and lineups, also do side-by-side -side comparisons, all in a real-time uh, HDR 3D environment. 
our 3ds Max program is going to allow us to render animations, create objects, and give us more control over our lights and materials.